What's up everyone? It's your boy Nornrad89 here bringing another ranking video today. We got news that we're going to be getting another Purge film. It's going to be called The Forever Purge dropping in July. So that's going to be right around the corner. So today I wanted to stop and rank all the Purge films that we have in the franchise so far. I think it's been a fun ride. There's some very enjoyable films. So let's dive into this list. This isn't the right list. This is just my personal opinion. So what that means is I would love to hear from all of you in the comment section, share your list. We could have some healthy cinema debates. So let's get down to this ranking. Roll it. So we have four franchise films in the Purge franchise so far. It's been a great ride. I am a big fan of the Purge films. They're very like just in-depth, really good films that are horror status, and I love horror, but they also have a really good action vibe to them as well, and they have a good political, really good deep story to them, something to say, so that's what's kind of cool about them. So let's get down to this list, and of course, there has to be a bottom one, and for me, the bottom one, this is actually the only Purge film that I really don't like, and it was the most recent one that came out, and it was the first Purge, but chronologically it's it's the first purge but it's the most recent one in the films that came out but for me it was just a real hit or miss for me it didn't hit all the right notes or anything like that the vibe it's completely different from the previous purge films and everything and it's one that i think as a fan i don't think we really needed a prequel but I wanted it. I'm a fan of the Purge films, so when I heard they were doing another film and it was going to be a prequel showing us about the first Purge and the experiment and how it became to be, so it's like it, I was interested and I wanted it as a fan, but I don't think we needed it. And it just it missed on all the areas, the characters, like it's, it doesn't grab you. It's not as interesting or anything like that compared to the other ones. And because they have the same writer, James De DeMonico, he came in and he wrote this film as well, but he didn't direct this one. And you can definitely tell it, <clears throat> tell that because the shots, the cinematography, the way it looks and everything, it has a kind of almost like spy thriller type vibe to it, like Born Identity, Born Supremacy type feel, and it just doesn't fit the vibe of the previous Purge films at all, so that's why it just didn't vibe with me, and like I said, just the, the twists and all the things that were in it, it just didn't land or anything like that, so as I said, this is the only one that I really don't enjoy, so that's why it's sitting here at the bottom of the list. So now we're on to number three, and from here on up, all these Purge films I do enjoy, and I do rewatch, especially during that Halloween season for sure. So number three for me is going to be Purge Election Year. This was the one that was the third film, and it definitely went more political than the previous two for sure, as we follow uh a character Frank Grillo he he plays the same character from he he was in Purge Anarchy so in this one he's a bodyguard though for a senator who's running for presidency and she wants to stop the purge and she's campaigning to be president so it's got a really political heavy storyline but it's still really good because of the characters and the actors in it they just do really good as like sinking into their roles and it pulls you in and makes the storyline so much better and like I said it's the political thing theme fits this world because the way they set up the purge and everything you have to talk about politics because it's just the way the world works you know with the laws and it is something that the pol uh, the politicians had to set up and everything so it's definitely something we knew we were going to get and I think it's still really good for like I said it's a film that I do rewatch but there's other purge films that I like better and I have more connection with and everything but this one's still a blast this one's more of like an action vibe too this one instead of horror but it still has some really gruesome horrific scenes especially that beginning intro scene with the senator and you find out her past how she she was the only sole survivor of her whole entire family from a previous purge so it's got some really dark content in it but it's definitely really heavy on the action too so it's going to keep you entertained and watching and number two for me, the runner-up is going to be the very first one, The Purge, the movie that kicked it all off and really introduced us to this world. James DeMonico, he really created something cool because I think in 
out of most horror franchises that have been started in recent years, I think The Purge is the most intriguing. It's one that pulls me in every time, and I'm always down to watch it. And as they've gone along, like I said, I've always been down for the ride, and I'm still interested to this day, and I'm really excited for The Forever Purge. So this one being the one that really kicked it off, Ethan Hawke's in it, and this is a more of like a home invasion type storyline film, so it's definitely a lot different from The Purge movies that follow it after it, you know what I mean, that precedes see this film but this one setting up the whole storyline of introducing us to this world of you know one night out of the year you know all crime is legal so americans can just get their aggressions out and everything it's just a wild concept and i think ethan hawk and the family they got the cast like they really sold their roles and it was really cool to meet like you know he's this guy who you know, is this rich white guy who made his money making security systems for people for the purge and all this kind of stuff. And that ending scene, especially when you find out about the neighbors and the twist and they want to purge them for this night. Like, uh, it's just a really powerful scene. It's got some really good dialogue in this movie. And I think this one, like I said, is one of those films that has like a really good heart to it and characters that you are interested in and care about and they're three dimensional. And that's why I really like this film. So the purge sitting comfortable here at number two but of course there has to be a top dog and for me the number one purge film that i love the most that i've binged the most i've probably watched this film like seven times so far the purge anarchy i really do like this film frank grillo his character introduced in this film this is the first one where he appears into it it's like he's such a great character and his character is the main driving force in this film but there's other great characters like uh, Zoe Soul she plays another character in this film and her chemistry with Frank Grillo on screen is just amazing so they really do a good job of introducing new characters into this world and then in this one it takes a whole new aspect because it puts them on the street instead of you know it's a home invasion film you feel safe in your home but people are trying to break into your home you know what i mean this one these people are just on the run stuck in the street on purge night trying to find a safe haven so it's just really got this amazing kind of judgment night type vibe you know just running around trying to survive and everything so that's why i really liked it and frank grillo is such an amazing actor and he really like i said is the driving force for this film and that by that ending scene when you get to the end and he's parked outside the house and you know his storyline of him wanting to get revenge and purge somebody who you know ran over his son who was a drunk driver it's just such a powerful storyline and really shows you that like the purge yeah like it's a bad idea but you see how some people like they can be twisted you know even somebody who's a good person can think that the purge can be something good for them can replenish something in them but it's like yeah that's why it's such a good storyline and I think this one has the deepest heart to it I even got kind of emotional almost teared up at that ending scene when he's in the car and the girls are trying to stop him from going into the house like that scene, it's pretty powerful for me like I said this is a pretty good one a hardcore rewatch for me pretty often during the Halloween season so for sure definitely Purge Anarchy sits here comfortable as the top dog and as I said I'm so excited for the forever purge I believe it drops on July 4th this year so i'm very excited i hope you guys are going to be there a lot of the theaters are starting to open up so hopefully people will go out and start you know spending money again and going to the theaters and having fun with their family and friends and all that kind of stuff so that's great so like i said hit me up in the comment section let me know what your list is thanks for hanging out with me for this other ranking video so oh i can't wait to start dropping more videos i'm so happy to be back on youtube with the rad heads army so Let's keep building this army. Leave a like and hit that subscribe button and everything so you can stay notified anytime I post videos. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.